Hey George, I've never personally had a leaf spring break on my trailer before, but I know several guys that have had it, and it seems like you're hearing more and more about it happening to people nowadays. Why is that? Well, what happens is basically is, is that the leaf springs are being imported in, so the material is, being in, is not very good. So we came up with a safety device in case that does happen. What happens is when that happens on a, on a trailer, the fender comes crashing down on top of the tire. This device that we came up with is to allow you to get to your safe destination and you get repairs done. Everything on this product is made here in the United States. Basically, it's all done here in the Bay Area, and we manufacture, we have the patent for this product. It does two things. is When a leaf spring fails on a trailer, the fender comes crashing down on top of the tire. This device has an airbag inside of it, which has an activating device, inflatable device. So what happens is when it comes down, it hits the firing pin inside that airbag, inflates the airbag, and lifts the fender back off the tire instantaneously. Second thing is, is when a leaf spring breaks, there's nothing there to hold that tire in place anymore. I've seen that, that those guys have their axle folded back behind their That's trailer. That's absolutely right. Because once this, you're going 55, 60 miles an hour down the road, when this happens, all the weight's on this tire. This tire wants to get underneath this trailer and, and get wrapped up underneath it. This device does two things. It's bolted to your frame rail, and it's also bolted to the axle bar. So this allows everything to stay perpendicular and in line until you get home. This unit here is the bottom half of the canister. This gets mounted to the crossbar that holds the axle. There's two U-bolts here that goes and gets mounted on that axle bar. So what happens is this thing floats up and down with nothing happening. This top piece is basically gets mounted to your frame rail. Your frame rail gets two U-bolts here and has an airbag in here that's made by Airlift Manufacturer. This device sits here and floats up and down until it, until it happens. When the leaf spring fails, this comes crashing down. It hits the airbag, hits a firing pin inside that has an air cartridge inside of it, inflates the airbag, and lifts the fender back off the tire. And that's what it does. Okay, so that sleeve basically slides up and down in this and keeps everything lined up when the spring breaks? Yes. Basically, it's like this. Unfortunately, it's heavy. That's a good thing. And it's like that, <laughs> and it rides up and down. It doesn't do anything until that leaf spring breaks. Okay. When the leaf spring breaks, this inflates, gives it an open distance, raises the fender off the tire, and allows you to get home. All right, so basically it's mounted like this. That's right. And then... It goes back up. All right. right. So it, it will never come disengaged. It always stays engaged. All right. So this is how they're set up on the trailer. Is there any modifications between different trailer manufacturers that you might have to deal with? The only difference is, Dave, is every trailer manufacturer has their own way of making trailers. The only problem that I, I come across is the brake line being coming right where the unit needs to be mounted. So what you may have to do is move that line out of the way so you can mount this up to that part, that area. Other than that, no, there shouldn't be anything at all. All right, well, let's go throw a set on my trailer and see how easy it is.